Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mindy, and I'm back with another sneak peek for Francesca's Studio Works. Are you ready to see this one? Oh my goodness, this one is pretty cool. Um, let's get into it. Let's show you what it is. Let's look at the box first, the purple box with all the nice branding, the slogan, information on the back of the box. There's a QR code. Go ahead, scan it if you want. Go ahead. Um, Here's our image on the front. Let's show it to you. Let's just show you the image. It is called Gray Lady, and it is by Linda Ravenscroft. Look at her. She is something. She's a fairy. Look at her wings. Look at her hat and all these daisies. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the flowers. How pretty. So Linda Ravenscroft, through art licensing for Francesca Studio Works, it is a 20 inch by 28.2 inch, 50.8 by 71.5 centimeters, square diamonds. You got your sticker on the front, and then you also have the sticker on the end of the box. So that makes storing them away pretty handy. You can see a picture of your painting from multiple angles on the box. I love that. Okay, let's get into it and show it to you. Getting a little late in the day here, so the lighting is not as bright as it normally is because, you know, it's just pretty much natural light I use. But um, we're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. All right. Use my X-Acto knife here to pop up my little tab and get into it. Come on. There. That little squeak every time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get it out and let's show it to you. Goodness. Um, I looked at this one a few times in previewing and things and talked about some of the features for this one. Um, like I said, the owner has really had her hand in um, helping with the rendering because they're all hand charted, making sure AB placement is where she would like it and things like that. So she asks some questions from time to time and I've given my input. So artistry, craftsmanship and beauty, Francesca's studio works. Let's get into it and show it to you. Um, I was not familiar with this artist, with Linda Ravenscroft, but I have been informed that she is a very popular artist and a lot of people know her and have followed her for quite a while and she has absolutely stunning artwork so a uh, new artist really to me and i'm gonna have to go check her out and see what else she has you know always fun to learn about new artists new artwork all right i'm rolling it backwards because it is poured glue and you can do that this is a self-flattening canvas but when you roll it backwards like this, it will flatten really quickly. And it helps me get everything out of the inside. Okay. We have the pinked edges where it's been cut along the edge to help it prevent fraying on this canvas. And it's got the soft back. All right. What else do we get? We get our drills. Completely different color palette than what we've been looking at. These are much more muted tones of grays and greens and creams, right? We've done a lot of bright colored things. This one's on the muted side. All right, here's the pamphlet once again. Instructions, how to diamond paint. There's that QR code again. If you would like to scan it, go ahead. Let's look at the tool kit first. I know, I know. You've seen the toolkit a few times now. But you know, this may be the first video that somebody comes across. So um, we want to make sure we do justice. The soft bag. I mean, these are so nice to reuse for things. We'll start this way this time. The tweezers, branded tweezers. There's the brand right there at the end. Sharp, very sharp, very pointy. Keep the little cap on there. And here's the washi tape, which is branded as well. Like I said, premium quality, everything down to the last, down to the last little foil. <laughs> there were a couple different varieties for the little foil leaf. And, you know, 
had to pick one, choose one. Um, potted wax, potted wax. That almost sounded like something else, potted meat. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, you know, sorry. Sometimes I get goofy. Um, white wax and the large tray. You snap open when you're ready to dump your drills out. They snap closed. They will cook together going this way and they'll stack. So those are pretty cool. And here is the rest of the toolkit. We get some baggies in there, the moss to the boat, the little purple squishy, your pen, brass tip on one end, the angled tip on the other end, plastic, good for ABs, and our multi-placers, a four-placer and a seven-placer, the thin white ones. I like those. I save these. I use these all the time. Okay? So that's the toolkit. And we'll put that in there later. We'll put that in there later. Okay. Let's look at our sticker sheet. And it is a sticker sheet. Everything on here is sticky. So here's the branded logo at the top. The name of the painting is Gray Lady by Linda Ravenscroft. There's the picture of her. Look at her. Look at her ears, her pointy little ears, her necklace, um, licensing information, and all the sizing. 20 inches by 28.2 inches. And there's the centimeters as well. Right? These are individually cut labels. They will peel off and go on your containers. And there are extras here if you need extra labels. 64 colors on this, lots of tans, taupes, creams, greens in this one. Look, okay, there's a butterfly. We have a butterfly symbol. I like it. A bell. All right. How many ABs do we have? They're all at the top, always listed at the top. One, two, three, four, and five. And those are the numbers of them. We got 5,200. Got some greens, maybe a yellowy green color here for that first one. We'll have to check that out and see what color that is. There's your sticker sheet. Love it. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready to see it? I'm ready. Francesca Studio works. Let's look at the drill field before we unroll it any further. What do you think about those symbols and that clarity? This was something that was super, super important that this drill field is clear when we got together, we looked at a couple, and there was already a couple of symbols. She was like, nah, I don't like that symbol. That one needs to be a little different. It needs to be darker or something. I mean, you could read them, but, you know, she she wants what she wants, and she wants it to be excellent. It's, it's striving for excellence, and she's going to settle for nothing less than excellence. I love it. Okay, let's unroll her. Here we go. Look at that, like, floral headdress she's got on. Oh, look at her. Look at that face. Okay, let's look at the face up close. I mean, how many different colors are made up in that face to do all of the shading, you know, like blushy cheeks and things like that. That's a lot of different colors in that rendering of that face. I mean, that looks really good. Look how good it looks, right? Wow, that looks great. Okay. All right, let's keep unrolling her. There's her necklace, this hair, her tendrils of her hair hanging down, the bodice of her top. Look at she's got she even has fingernail polish. See her little polish on her nails? All right, let's see. Can we get the whole thing in? Can we get the whole thing in? There we go. There it is. I know we get the glare up here at the top. Sorry. Glare at the top. <sighs> We'll move it down so you can see her again. How pretty. Look at those wings. Wow, look at the wings. Yeah, I really need to check out this artist and see what else they have, what she has, because I'm, I'm not familiar. I mean, this is the first time I had heard the name. All right, legend on both sides. This one is, you know, top down. This one here is upside down. It's flipped, you know, because this is a longer painting. I can totally see flipping it around and working from the other end. I like that feature. Um, social medias are up here in the corner. Follow her on those. Facebook, Instagram, all of those things. And here is her slogan at the bottom. 
Here's all the licensing information. Gray Lady by Linda Ravenscroft. Sizing information and the kit number. LR for Linda Ravenscroft and it's square number two. Number two? Are there two? I don't know. Hmm. We'll find out, won't we? All right. So, thick plastic. Thick plastic. Sticky glue. That drill field is perfect. It's perfect. Wow. What do you think? What do you think of her? I love the daisies in this. They're so cool. I'm kind of a daisy girl. I am a daisy girl. So this plastic, I mean, it's showing like little wrinkles in the plastic, but I mean, it's because it's been rolled up. Let's, let's, let's do that. Look at that. Look how perfectly clear and beautiful that is. The plastic just kind of gets a little wrinkle from being rolled up inside the box and things, but there's no wrinkles at all in the canvas. And look how good it looks. Look how good it looks. It's perfect. I love it. I love this. It is really cool. All right. Let's look at drills. It's a little windy outside today. You can probably hear my wind chime going crazy here. 64 colors. Let's see them. I've learned that if I start at the middle, I don't get the ABs. I want to leave the ABs until the end. <laughs> So start in the middle. No, nope, that didn't work that time. There's the ABs. Okay, let's start here. Oh, look, we got a little baby strip here. Let's zoom you in. So we got 38 to 65. And like I said, it's a lot of creams, off-whites, tans, brownish colors, and green. Got a bright green there. What else do we have? 680, 677. This is a greenish, it is green. I was gonna say greenish gray, but it's really, it's really green. Yeah. Another off-white tan color. 535 is a gray with a green hue to it. 501, 520, 500. It's a really dark green right there. 471 green, tans and browns and two different tones of gray, a lighter and a darker. All right, what do we have next? Another brown, 936 green, 928 is really pretty. That is a light sagey green, it's super pretty. 927 is a little darker. Two bags of 869, which is brown. How about this mustardy green color? 833. More, more cream. Some more browns. 801 twice. 739 twice. 738. All right. Couple more strips here. Oh, 3819. There's two bags of that. That was on that small strip. I thought I saw that one already. Yep. Two bags of that. $37.99. It's a dark gray. One, two, three of those. And this $37.70. A peachy color. Very light peachy color. Three bags of it. Pink. $33.71. More good green colors because there is a lot of green in this one. If you like green, this would be the painting for you. Look at that color. That's pretty. I like that color. 3072. More greens and more peaches. I mean, there's a lot of peach. I mean, besides in her face and things, there's some peaches in the background. All of this, hands, all of that stuff will be peach. So, or off-white or beige, right? Um, okay. Let's continue with the greens. 367, 320, 319. There's some more grays. Two 318s, one 317. We got a couple bags of 310. Um, 
brown, some bluish grays. 168 is really pretty. That's a pretty, pretty color. That's pretty. Some red. And now we're to the ABs. I'm going to flip it over. So I'm not surprised by these ABs at all. So we have a big full bag of white. Aurora Borealis. It's the iridescent coating they put on top of these drills. Picks up all the other colors around it, and it shimmers and shines, and it's so pretty on a painting. Look at that one. What color is that? 3072. Didn't we have that number already? Let me see. Yep. So we have this one in an AB. This is the second time, second painting I think we've encountered this, where we have it in an AB, and we have it in the resin drill, because um, the, the highlighting with the ABs is very, very, very particular. Um, it's not like a full replacement everywhere. So the color, this color, 3072, is used in multiple places. But in the rendering of this, it was felt that the AB only needed to be in certain places, not everywhere on the painting. So it's very very thought out, well thought out where these ABs are going to go. That's why you will have some of the paintings that will have an AB and a regular resin drill in the same color. All right. And then a couple of greens, three greens, not a ton of those. Um, hopefully I can find those on the painting. So we've got 704, 702, and 166. 704, 702. I don't think these are repeated as resin drills. All right, let's see if we can find these. Oh boy, I got my work cut out for me. One, two, and three are those greens. So let's see. Um, looking, looking, looking down here. I'm thinking there isn't any down here in this portion. I remember, I'm trying to think of where I was told that ABs were going to be. I really don't think there's any at the bottom. I don't see, I don't see one, two, three, or four. Those are all greens. There is some white at the bottom, but I don't see any of the greens at the bottom. So let's go up here. All right. So. Wow. Okay. Here in this little circle is the one. And there's green in here. Um, there's green around this circle here. And inside this circle is where I see ones. And one was this lighter green color. There's not a lot of it. But that's where I see it. Two is this green, a darker green. And I haven't seen the twos yet. Where are the twos? See the fives, the white popping up all over the place. The greens are a little harder to find. Two, three, two, three, two, three. <laughs> I'm not finding them. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to pause. And I'm going to look this over. And I'm going to figure out where those other greens are. And then we'll come back. Okay, I've done some exploration. <laughs> the only place I can find the two and the three green is here and here on the headdress, on the headpiece there. That's the only place I can see those two greens. So that, that might be it. There weren't very many. That could be all of those two colors. Um, the four, which is like that mintier green, that pretty mint green color, or sagey green. We'll call it a light sage. That's in the wings. So let me just show you one wing. And remember, there, there's two wings. So it's the other side will be matching pretty much. Um, so in the wings is where we'll get that sage green all through the wings here, which will be very pretty. I mean, on the canvas, it looks kind of gray, but it's going to be green. Okay. That's pretty. That's where I found the majority of the fours that that um, sage green is reserved for the wings. All right. Now, the white, of course, is in all of the flowers because they're white daisies. 
And so it's in all of the flowers. They all get a little bit of white AB. And there was a couple other places I saw a few. So all the way up here on her flower headpiece, white AB just peppered throughout everywhere. Okay. And there's some in like these little, these little groups right here. There's a white AB in the center of each of those. There was a few on these circles as well. Okay. But what do you think of her? Have you heard of Linda Ravenscroft before as an artist? Let me know what you think. Okay. I'm going to zoom you out. So you can see her in her full glory one more time. I know we got the glare over there. I, you know, glare. Glare is not my friend. I just can't get it to not glare. There. How's that? That's pretty darn good, isn't it? Like I said, the lighting's really weird right now. So you're getting the glare from my overhead light. Normally the natural light from the windows kind of, kind of takes over. But that looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? Yeah, let me know what you think. Okay? I think she's she's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. The artwork, oh my gosh, all of the artwork has just been fantastic. Don't you think it has been just great what you've seen so far? And and there's more to come. There is more to come. It's fantastic art. Um, time has been spent procuring artwork for sure. All right. I'm going to let you go for now. And um, give me your thoughts below. And please. Follow her on the social medias or them, the company, on the social medias and um, go check them out. Put some things on your wish list that you like um, and keep keep coming back and looking for more. You never know when that painting is going to pop up that you're just going to go, okay, I have, to, I have to have that one. I must have that one, <laughs> right? Okay. Thanks, everybody, and I will see you soon. Bye.